Tina, what's your name? Hi, I'm so glad that you're doing church with us today. Boys and girls, we get to do something very special every time we come together to do church, and that's praise God. And do you know how we do that? We get up on our feet, we use our bodies to dance and our voices to sing, and we worship Him. So are you ready? We're gonna get started in just 10 seconds. to the clubhouse, it's me, Kai, and I'm so excited to see you today. This is going to be the best day ever. I have a brand new kite, just like my friend Zoe. We're going to meet some of our friends at the park today and fly kites together. I'm going to surprise them with a picnic. I packed all our favorite foods. I can just imagine how much fun it's going to be. I've got ham sandwiches. I like mine with mustard. I've got apple slices. Zoe likes the green ones the best. 
Oh, and I can't forget Miss Kathy Sue's sugar cookies. She always shares with us when she bakes. She's such a good friend. In juice boxes, because flying kites makes you thirsty. I can't wait to get to the park. It's the perfect day to fly a kite. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello there, Kai. Who? Who? Have a fun day plan, do you? Hi, Ollie. I sure do. Flying kites and having a picnic is going to be so much fun. I can hardly wait. Being with friends is fun. It's true. I have just the story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? <laughs> They're my banana chocolate chip breakfast cupcakes because sometimes you can't wait for dessert. But you didn't come here for that. You came for the story and guess what? It's about breakfast too. So if you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a breakfast that happened not long after Jesus came back. Do you remember why we celebrate Easter? It started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No! <laughs> Jesus came back just like he said he would. It was such good news. Jesus is alive! <laughs> and one of the things he wanted to do was spend time with his friends. Now do this with me. <gasps> what do you think we're doing? Are we throwing a shoe? <laughs> no! What are we doing? <gasps> we're fishing! That's right! And that's what Jesus' friends were doing. They were in a boat fishing early in the morning when all of a sudden, look, <laughs> who is that standing on the shore? Yes, it's Jesus. Jesus is alive. His friends were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face. <laughs> Good job. In fact, Peter was so excited that he jumped in the water to swim to Jesus. Let's pretend to swim to Jesus. Ready? <laughs> Very good. You can stop swimming now. We made it. And when they got to shore, Jesus was cooking breakfast. So they all sat and had breakfast with their best friend, Jesus. Jesus is alive. <laughs> he loved them so much and wanted to show them that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And do you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too forever and ever. How awesome is that? Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. Better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus spent time with his friends on the beach. Jesus is the best friend of all. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Jesus wanted to spend time with his friends. Jesus is the best friend anyone could ever have. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. 
I can't wait to hang out with my friends today and I'm going to make sure and tell them all about how Jesus is the best friend ever. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Boys and girls, what a special, true Bible story. And this month, I have an amazing memory verse for you to practice. Are you ready to hear it? It's this, how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. So now I'm gonna teach it to you a little bit by a little bit. Will you be my echo? I'll say it first and then you say it back to me. Here we go. How wide, can you try that? How wide, good job. Now we're gonna stretch our arms like this and we're gonna say, and long. Try that with me, and long. Then I want you to reach up really high on your tiptoes and say, and high. Can we try that? And high. And then we're gonna get down really low and say, and deep. Try that with me, and deep. Now give yourself a big hug and say, is the love, let's try that, is the love, and now point up, because we're talking about Jesus, and say, of Christ, try that, of Christ, and then hold your Bibles out, can you say the word Ephesians, try that, Ephesians, good job, and the numbers are 318, try that with me, 318. Nice job, boys and girls. Can we put it all together? Let's go back to how wide. Are you ready? Here we go. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3, 18. Nice job, my friends. Well, before we go, boys and girls, I just want to pray our special prayer that we pray every week. Will you join me? Fold your hands, bow your heads, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus to be my friend forever. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. I'm so glad you came to church today, and I'll see you right back here next week. I love you. Bye.